I'm here to save a prince. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a magical carpet ride to the legendary land of Persia. Buckle up, because we're diving into the epic tale of Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown. Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Take the lead, Sargon. You are to leave for Mount Karth at once. This story is about more than just sword fights and stolen princes, it's a journey of courage, loyalty, and facing your fears. In the heart of Persia, a land steeped in ancient myths and legendary warriors, a young hero named Sargon stands ready to defend his kingdom. Unlike the princes of legend, Sargon isn't royalty. He belongs to a prestigious group of elite warriors known as the Immortals, renowned for their unmatched skill and unwavering loyalty. Our tale begins amidst a time of hardship. Persia has endured decades of drought and famine, its strength waning under the constant threat of the Kushan Empire's relentless invasion. A pivotal battle erupts, and Sargon, the youngest of the immortals, proves his courage by slaying the formidable Kushan general, turning the tide in Persia's favor. Victorious but weary, Sargon and his comrades return to the capital city of Persepolis greeted by a jubilant crowd and praise from Queen Tomiris and Prince Gosson. However, the celebration is abruptly shattered by a shocking betrayal. General Onahita, a respected warrior and Sargon's mentor, kidnaps Prince Gosson, plunging the kingdom into turmoil. Driven by an unwavering sense of duty and a burgeoning friendship with the prince, Sargon embarks on a perilous quest to rescue Gosson. His trail leads him to the legendary Mount Kaf, a sacred mountain shrouded in mystery and rumored to be cursed. As Sargon ascends the treacherous slopes of Mount Kaf, he encounters nightmarish creatures and deadly traps that test his agility and combat prowess. But these challenges pale in comparison to the darkness that awaits him within the mountain's heart. Atop Mount Kaf lies a magnificent citadel, once a beacon of knowledge, now corrupted by a sinister force. Inside, Sargon uncovers the horrifying truth behind Onahita's treachery. She seeks to exploit the power of a mythical bird-like deity known as the Simma, using Prince Gosson's royal blood as the key to unlocking its immense power. A fierce battle ensues as Sargon and the remaining loyal immortals fight their way through Onahita's corrupted warriors. But just as victory seems within reach, another shocking twist emerges. Varam the leader of the Immortals, reveals himself as the true mastermind behind the kidnapping. He believes himself to be the rightful heir to the throne and intends to use the Simmer's power to overthrow Queen Tomiris and seize control of Persia. Sargon is defeated by Varam's mastery of time magic, seemingly ending his quest. However, fate offers him a second chance. A mysterious figure named Alcara appears, offering Sargon a way to travel back in time and prevent Gosson's abduction. But this power comes at a steep price, a bargain with the malevolent snake god, Asdaha. Thus begins a race against time for Sargon. He must navigate perilous environments, solve intricate puzzles, and gain the blessings of four celestial guardians. This journey grants him a portion of the Simra's power, the key to confronting the true villain, Varam. Through time travel and thrilling combat encounters, Sargon uncovers a web of deceit. Onahita, acting on Queen Tomiris' orders, had kidnapped Gosson to prevent him from learning a dark secret, it was Tomiris who usurped the throne, not the rightful heir, Varam. This revelation fuels Varam's ambition, driving him to claim the Simmer's power for himself. With the truth unveiled, Sargon confronts Varam in an epic showdown. The battle pits not just skill against skill, but also destiny against ambition. As their powers clash, Sargon glimpses Varam's past, understanding the source of his rage. Varam is the lost son of the rightful king, a victim of Tomiris' ruthless power grab. Despite their newfound understanding, Varam remains determined to claim the Simra's power, merging with its essence to become a godlike being. But this newfound power corrupts him. The similar spirit intervenes, recognizing the good within Sargon. Empowered by the Simra's blessing, Sargon engages Varam in a final, desperate fight. The battle for Persia's future hangs in the balance. Ultimately, Sargon prevails, defeating Varam and shattering his guardhood. 
Varam, now free from his delusions, realizes the folly of his actions. He sacrifices himself to revive the Simmer, restoring balance to the land. With the curse lifted and the rightful heir revealed, Sargon and Prince Gorson return to Persepolis as heroes. However, knowing the truth about his mother, Gosson abdicates his position while Sargon reveals Tomiris murdered Darius to the entire royal court. As Sargon leaves the capital, the remaining immortals assure him that they will take care of a younger version of Varam that escaped Mount Kaf with them. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of Sargon's climb. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Not before. Varam, you all right? I saw our kingdom engulfed in flames. There's nothing you can do to stop me.